Welcome back. We are back at Stadium Australia for the 10th series decider on Big Wednesday. State of Origin live tonight on the Nine Network is about to get underway. At about 9.30, we'll take you to the second semi-final of World Cup Soccer, and then we'll take you live to Wimbledon. They don't get any bigger than Big Wednesday, and this is the Queensland dressing room. As the players prepare to leave the sheds that weren't kind to them, on State of Origin one night back in May, they left here with their tail between their legs, 32 to 4. As we cross cameras to the New South Wales rooms and then we watch Wayne Bennett just leaving there the Queensland rooms and I would imagine heading for his vantage point to watch what will be a fantastic game of football. This is game 66 and it is the end of the 21st series. The Harvey Norman series and uh, Gordon Tallis. Shane Webke in the foreground, Darren Smith has been so good for so long. And Alfie Langer, tonight, I think we can safely say, will bow out of origin football. He started it way back in 1987. Just an incredible sporting story. It doesn't matter what sport you follow, but this little fellow that came back and really, we thought, reached his summit at ANZ Stadium in this match last year, has come back and put it all on the line for this one tonight. So we come back from the field and wait for the arrival of the Queensland team. Fantastic atmosphere, good crowd. And Andrew Johns now leads the New South Wales side out. He will become the seventh player to captain New South Wales to a State of Origin series victory. If they can lift this one from Queensland tonight. They're confident. Phil Gould probably wouldn't tell you that he's confident, but I suspect knowing him pretty well, he is quietly so. Johns will take them out. There'll be a big roar. Probably 65,000 here, maybe 70. Johns leads them through the banner. It was an embarrassing moment in Los Angeles for Peter Sterling many years ago. He got stuck up in the actual banner but here is the captain andrew johns arguably the best player to ever play the game here's the card yeah good on your rabs at fullback fred hodgson tamana tahu and moody on the wings gidley and timmons the center pairing barrett at 5 8 andrew johns captain at halfback rickardson is the lock forward behind steve simpson and steve menzies bailey badiris and jason riles up front off the bench hill fletcher nathan hindmarsh and vela their coach bill gould queensland side and of course Former yep. player and coach Paul Vorton in commentary tonight. Darren Locke is the fullback to Kiri and Robbie Davis on the wings. Chris Walker, Chris McKenna in the centres. Sean Berrigan, the 5'8". Alan Lang, a little elf. He's the halfback. Darren Smith, lock forward. Gordon Tallis, the captain. Dane Carlaw's the other back rower. Shane Webke and Petro Sivanesiva, the props. PJ Marsh, the hooker. An interchange of Norton Price, G and Tate, coached by Wayne Bennett. And what a beautiful Wednesday it's been in the Harbour City, the Olympic City. And Andrew Voss is sitting on the sideline, enjoying it, I'm sure. And what a night to be on the sideline as well. It is chilly, but that won't worry the players. Terrific buzz, that sense of anticipation around this ground. I think even some of the crowd, Ray, are nervous tonight. They're just that edgy about the contest. Lots of statistics, of course, Ray, being quoted going into tonight. Here's one that perhaps nullifies the Blues' home ground advantage of shade. And that man we saw on screen, that Alan Langer was a part of it. The last series decider played in Sydney. Queensland won it in 1998. In total, there's been three deciders played in Sydney over time. And Queensland have won two. Of course, to counter that, New South Wales, five games here at Stadium Australia. They have won all five. The newly configured Stadium Australia, as you can see, much better for the rectangular sports. Bill Harrigan doing his 18th state of origin. New South Wales have won their five of the last eight they've played under Harrigan. We're underway. The Harvey Norman series, the decider, is on its way. And New South Wales with first use of the football. About 12 metres out from their line. And first play of the night for Jason Riles. This is the second. And it was Luke Rickardson, the oldest New South Wales player, who took the second play. Bailey from St George Illawarra plays the ball. New South Wales with Riles getting another feel of it. 
The young man who would have been there instead of Origin 1 but was suspended for five matches. Charged down by the Maroons and the Blues clean it up. Langer making the tackle and six again is the ruling as Jason Moody takes it in just beyond the 10 meter line and just outside the 20 meter line here on the western side of the, the ground at Stadium Australia. This is Bailey who played so well and gained so many yards in number one back in May. Badiris was taken high and wrestled down in the back play. Badiris wasn't happy and he let Darren Smith know that. They are now 45 metres out from their own line. We are on the first set of six as Johns, who basically controlled everything out there in the open-up, drives it down for Darren Lockyer, and the New South Wales chase was keen. Now it's Takiri. Three-try hero from ANZ Stadium in two. Webke to the 40-metre line. Opening exchanges. Of State of Origin 3 for Talis now. Put down heavily, the crowd groan as they feel it for Gordon, the Queensland contingent that are here. Now Carlaw. Langer challenges them. Walker goes down the right side. Robbie O Davis. Robbie O Davis. Could he have got that pass away? They would have been in to score. Smith now on five. Langer. Well, he's miscued. He's given possession to the Blues, and that's Rickardson. Well, what a great chance it was there for the Maroons, as they had a blindside shot after a great offload. Alf saw some space out there, and Robbie O, well, he nearly got their head support, just couldn't offload. Now, Riles takes one up, met by three. Sitting receiver with the final tackle over the top. That was heavy. Petro back after injuring the knee in the first one. Hasn't been playing since. So there's a bit of a risk factor, I suppose, on match fitness for, uh, for Sipper Nasiva as Johns comes off his right foot. He works back into the middle. Here's that man again. Hudson. Punch the lung in number two. But, gee, wasn't he good in one? Johns goes to Barrett. Barrett's back tonight as well. He puts it down to Lobb on the 10-metre line. So Kiri will bring it back. Looking to become the record point scorer in a series for Queensland. With 10 more points tonight, he will eclipse the previous set by Mal Meninga. 15 out from their line now. Played there by Chris McKenna. That is PJ Marsh. Second warrior to play Origin. Here is Langer. Oh, that is big! On Darren Smith. And the tackler was Luke Bailey, and Smith is hurt. It takes a lot to jolt him. I saw this man suffer a, a crippling injury at Belmore Oval one night, and people said he won't get up. But he did about 10 minutes later, and he won't let them down. That was a big hit. Here is Tahu. Had some great defense from both sides in the opening stages of this game, and Queensland looking to have a little bit of success down their right-hand side attack. That's Chris Walker. That's, that's where the speed man is. Riles. Backhanded flip out the rear there for Moody. And this is Badiris. Goes for an early scoop. Got plenty of yards. Yeah, should have got a penalty too. Dane Carlaw in 12 was offside. Never got back and was never at marker. Here is Johns to the 30 metre line. The pass has gone backwards off the hands. Now it is with Gidley. Gidley tries that pass away to Tahu. Swept up over there by McKenna. They were lucky to get away with that. Harrigan could easily have called ball propelled forward and now Johns just rolls it over on about that eastern touch line. Yeah, Johns just settles things uh, down there for one bad pass led to a couple. And uh, Jason Rolls is a man to be followed tonight. Look at this hit on Darren Smith and that's why he's wounded. Smashed. And that's typical origin defence. But Jason Rolls, he's already offloaded a couple of times. Look for players like Steve Menzies and Hodgson to follow him. Langer working it. 20 out from his own line. Berrigan now off the left and the right. Stepping off both feet before Menzies on the fringe of the ruck picks him up. Menzies in the run on side tonight. And by comparison with State of Origin 1, he's in there replacing Ben Kennedy. Here is Seven Asiba. See that right leg, that right knee bandage. That's the knee damage he did here at this stadium 
in one. Marshner to the halfway line for Langer. Nearly 36 years of age. What a wonderful athlete, one of the legends of rugby league. And certainly one of the legends of state of origin as Lockyer puts a left foot kick down towards that eastern touchline. Hodgson, who was like a magnet here a few weeks ago, is back on his way. They'll give him a dust up here. Not quite. And there you can see the 18th man, David Peachy. He was brought back into the camp after the weekend's matches just in case. Not needed tonight. One of the features for mine, Ray. Oh, there's a mistake. A pass from by the Blues. And Carl and Millie away. So is Darren Smith recovered. Tackled nine metres out from the line. And this is the first real chance, I suppose. Langer. Through from Berrigan. Lockyer joins in, left foot stabbing kick. Here comes Takiri. He's got it. Lottie Takiri has scored another Origin try. Well, they gave them the opportunity. It was a poor pass run at their end of the field. It's Tamana Tahu. Brett Hodgson wasn't... Well, Jason Moody, I'm sorry, wasn't expecting the pass. And then they go across field. A couple of passes wide as we freeze it there. You can have a look. That's going to be the try scorer. Well and truly onside, and look at the space in there. And as the kick goes through, very difficult to turn and chase. Tamana Tahu, I've got to say, was fairly slow in getting back, and Takiri won the race by a mile. Yeah, well done, Queensland. Capitalised on a very poor New South Wales mistake. It's a beautiful kick. And honestly, by the time the Tahu had turned, Takiri was well past him and flying. And never in doubt, nice little gentle put down. And a great start for the Maroons. They look good with the football in their hands. Their defence has been strong. They look like they're on song tonight, well prepared. And that's the, the big thing in tonight's game is to take advantage of your opportunities. Really the first mistake of the game, a poor pass run at the wrong end of the field. And that man on screen continues his marvellous origin series. Five tries, Peter. That uh, equals Ryan Girdler's record for most tries in the series, which was set by the Penrith three-quarter in 2000. Five tries this series for Lottie Takiri. I would have thought months ago that Lottie Takiri probably wouldn't have thought that he would have the goal-kicking duties at origin level. Darren Lockyer, a very accomplished goal-kicker, but doesn't really like that responsibility at the moment. And Takiri, in the kind of form he is in, anything is possible. What a start to Big Wednesday. What a start for the Maroons in Queensland. Here is Lottie from the touchline. He has pulled it around just offline. We take a break with the Queenslanders leading 4 nothing after 9. And a welcome to our audiences overseas. I know you're taking it live in the UK. I know you're taking it live in New Zealand. And in PNG, I know you would be absolutely loving it. In Queensland, of course, you're loving it at the moment. Johns opens the next passage. There are two chances, Queensland, and they've converted one of them into four points. Back at Stadium Australia, together with around, I suppose, 70,000 people, the Queenslanders drawing first blood. A try to Lottie Takiri, his fifth in the series. They lead 4 nothing as Talis tries to find his way out to the 30-metre line. Wonderful try, great kick by Lockyer. Gee, they're hitting hard out there. Badiris was underneath Webke. Now PJ. Good kick. He's had a fine start to the game, PJ Marsh. His service from dummy half, as is the case. Moody! He's through. Wonderful run by the Parramatta winger. I was just going to say that both the dummy halves have been superb tonight as Sean Timmons picks up some easy metres over halfway. A couple of metres on the Queensland side of halfway for Badiris. And now for Johns, dummies one way, goes the other. Gidley is out there and taken down by Takiri, which means that there was a channel down the right side for New South Wales. Here is Riles meeting Webke. That came off the fingers of Takiri, and I thought he played at the ball. So did Bill Harrigan. They restart the tackle count. Webke and Riles just came together. The number one prop and the number two prop, I guess. Johns, there he is. 20 metres out from the line. 
They are running towards the northern end of Stadium Australia. The home base for the Olympics. John through. Barrett in. Menzies! He will score! Stephen Menzies, the star of the Manly Eagles, puts it in for another origin try. And he can score a try, Stephen Menzies. A prolific try scorer at whatever level he's playing. This is where the six again was awarded to New South Wales. Lottie Takiri a long way in field. And then they go a couple of passes wide. If he frees it there, that is Stephen Menzies. They are trying to open up the hole on the inside. This man just not coming across quickly enough. And as play continues, Barrett puts it on the chest of Menzies. Great evasive running. Goes on the outside of Darren Lockyer. The Blues hit back and again. They took advantage of an opportunity. Six more tackles their way. Yeah, this is why Phil Gould desperately wanted Steve Menzies in the side. He can score a try. Prolific try score. 127 tries for the Manly Club. Another one now in origin. He just got through that gap. It was a beautiful piece of running, wasn't it? It was well set up by Barrett. Good ball. And between Tallis and Webke, no one was going to stop Steve Menzies. Yeah, with no disrespect to the players who played 5 8 in game two, Trent Barrett was missed because of that. His passing game, he can get nice and wide, stretch the defence, and there we saw it at its best. Johns from 20 metres in from the eastern side. It looks OK. New South Wales have converted. It is 6-4 after 13 minutes of Origin 3. his bag with tries I think it was the kangaroo tour of 94 I think 11 or something like on that tour as Paul pointed out though he just he knows how to score a try former center one of many centers that have finished up as a second row Robbo Davis one of the changes to the Queensland side from game one he's in for Justin Hodges as well from game two missing nothing you're back with us live as Lockyer opens up the next episode of Origin 3 for the Harvey Norman series decider and the Blues in front 6-4 what a beautiful try it was by Menzies taking nothing away from Queensland's try just a few minutes earlier for Lottie Takiri now it is with Badiris and he runs and gives it to Luke Bailey and Bailey, Bailey runs into Carlo. Carlo puts him down with the help of Darren Smith who looks to be now totally recovered here is Riles he's got the zero on his number starting to trail off his back now for Johns they're all on side the way I saw it the kick though is going straight to lock you you know you talk about Johns being the best in the game today I wonder how far behind you rate Darren Lockyer in Queensland they might not even rate him number two they might rate him number one Beautiful player of the game, Darren Lockyer, and laid that first try on for Takiri. Seven receiver feels it. Heavy stuff from Johns and Riles. Carlaw now. 20-35 out from the Queensland line. They're trailing by two. Marsh for Langer, Langer for Webke, and Webke up they come in the defence line. The New South Wales Blues, the Wizard Blues, they put him away. And Lockyer goes to that left foot again. And... It is with Tamana Tahu, youngest player in the New South Wales side. Hodgson around to Kerry. Hodgson lassoed by Tallis. Look at Tallis. Look at Tallis. He drags him over and out of the rectangular ring. <laughs> well, you will not see a better tackle than that from Gordon Tallis. That is quite a remarkable tackle. You've got to keep them. The momentum going and Brett Hodgson he was looking to get into open spaces he's 15 16 meters in the field of play there and he's dead set it's Rodeo stuff yeah it's like hot a hog tight the Rodeo it is here they come the Queenslanders now inspired by Tellus now Chris Walker wonderful evasion and Rubio Davis can't take a most difficult pass but oh. Walker, he had nothing to work in. He was absolutely explosive. And they're giving Chris Walker chances tonight. He's creating some space down the flank for him. Look at him. Look at the speed. The fend. Was he away? Timmons came across. And Chris Walker, obviously worried about going into touch once he was tackled, decided to offload. But you know what? Had he have taken the tackle, it's play on. 
and New South Wales under pressure on their own line. Well, we just wrapped the tackle of Gordon Tallis. It's a try saver from Sean Timmins. Great strength to hang on to the shorts and stop Walker from going away. Gee, Queensland looked to be inside the five, and Bill Harrigan's got them. He's penalised for inside the five before the ball is out of the scrum. And Gidley is tackled. 28 metres out from his line. Well, that's the second time that tackle's OK from Seven Receiver on Lyles. That is the, the second time that they've had great chances down the right side. Stephen Price, the Bulldogs captain, about to come into it for the Maroons. John's working with Menzies. Menzies ran into the rump of Langer. Halfway line with us. Badiris on for Bailey now. And Bailey has been very prominent. The two young St. George Illawarra props have been quite outstanding for the Blues. Here is Johns. And he just puts a little jink into his work before he kicks. And did... Well, it wouldn't matter if it did. Under the old rules it would, but it looked like it might have bumped off Robbie O'Davis not playing at the ball. It's a great kick. Actually comes up with a bit of backspin. Robbie goes bang, which way did it go? Like a nine on bouncing into the green, a little bit of backspin back to the flag. No, that was his wrong one. He just brings that out every now and then. So Langer will work it. 6-4 the Blues leading at Stadium Australia on the opening of this sporting extravaganza on the Nine Network. Followed by World Cup Soccer semi-final two live. Turkey, Brazil, that's your next, that's the next meal on the menu. And then if you can stay with us, dessert will be Wimbledon and Mark Philippoussis. Now, Price, 35 out from his own line. Hey, a good surge there from Steve Price. He really had an impact in game two. He was called back after not being selected in the opener and he made every post a winner. As Gordon Tallis again struggles forward almost to the halfway line. That's the last tackle. Marsh from dummy half. He's got a couple of forwards offside. Now he's, he's gone down in back play. Barrett seemed to get involved. Penalty where the ball lands. Yes, he put the little one through, and then Trent Barrett looked like he actually got in the road of PJ Marsh. He knew there was no one back there, and there it is, the shoulder charge down, and Queensland now only 15 metres out. There can be no qualms with that penalty. In fact, under Harrigan, I think they've won 10 from 17, Queensland. Here is Berrigan now, and Berrigan aims the guns at the line on the southern end of Stadium Australia. Langer works from the right to the left. This is where he is most dangerous. Lockyer is corralled. Now he gets it back to Berrigan. Berrigan is a metre from the line. 6-4 the Blues, but they've got some work to do to hold them out here. PJ Marsh, Alan Langer. Langer, jinx, right foot step twice. Stands, gets it away. Carlo is with it. Carlo, barrel, got the ball away. Darren Lockyer goes for the gap and it fails. It closed a metre out from the line. PJ Marsh, he gets a decoy from Tallis. Here's Langer, kicking in behind, and it's taken dead. Ooh, I really don't think Tamana Tahu had to play at that. I know that you've got to make sure that you don't take any chances, but if you could have got a call from his teammates or just realised how close he was to the dead ball line, there was no way a Queensland attacking player was going to be able to come through. Now, this is where he, some of his teammates should have been yelling out to him. Ta Tamana, it's OK, let it go. Didn't happen. I got a sneaking suspicion that little Alfie, Alfie Langer may have had a shot himself for the try, not the kick. That gap looked inviting. So they give it back to them. Off the boot of Johns, and Queensland work it back through the big fella. Whipkey! They hit him and they bounce off him. 30 metres out from the Blues line. Play back for Marsh. Marsh for Lockyer. And Darren. He's tackled 20 metres out from the line, then he's forced back. Held down there for as long as they can by Rickardson and Badiris. He's working hard, the New South Wales hooker. So is this man, PJ Marsh. He's starting to have a shot himself. Riles was there. I wonder how he's feeling. Debut origin match. And uh, at this stage, he'll be starting to realise how much harder it is. Here is Carlo. And Menzies holds the ball to the midriff, then takes him to ground. Quarter of the game gone. Langer. Here is Berrigan over the line. 
Birmingham has got the second Queensland try. And you've got to say, from, from New South Wales' perspective, it is a soft try, but it does come on the back of a lot of possession. We go one, as we freeze it there, you can see Berrigan basically just accelerates into a gap. New South Wales sliding, you don't want to do that too close to your line. And as play continues, Berrigan, well, he just gets on the outside, extends the left hand to plant the football down. Too easy, but as I say, giving away a lot of possession at this end of the field. Yeah, my word, that was a big hole there for Berrigan to run to. You can't uh, leave gaps like that on your own line, that's for sure. And Berrigan just ran to the gap. Alfie put it on his chest. That was too easy. But uh, a great try for the Maroons. They've hit the lead once again. Been playing some good football. He's not your classic style 5'8", is he, Sean Berrigan? He gets tackled more than any other 5'8 in the business. But that's just the way that he plays. And New South Wales would, in fact, like to be trying to get up on the outside and force him to take the tackles tonight. Very tough player. Plays well above his weight. And a great will to win. That's Takiri. First try at origin level for Sean Berrigan. Here's Takiri now. 19 in from the sideline. He's missed it again. This could come back to be a nightmare for Lottie. Andrew looking at it again. And watching this try again, there's been some high quality stuff, but as Sterlow said, this was a little soft. New South Wales looked particularly tight as they lined up for the line dropout that led to this try being scored. And as a result, Jason Riles has gone to the bench for New South Wales, replaced by Mick Vella. Mick Vella's last instruction from the bench, watch PJ Marsh. High kick off by the Blues. And they've nailed them just inside the 20 metre line. And I can't wrap Jason Riles enough. That is was quite an absolutely outstanding 23 minutes yeah, for Pete, your first game. 13 tackles, 7 hit ups, as good as it gets for a prop in his opening uh, game for New South Wales. Dane Carlaw banged out. On the broad of the back on the 40 metre line, his own end of the ground. Webke urging the younger forwards to keep going forward. Let's give Alfie and Lockyer and Berrigan a chance. We have to win the game in the forwards. We have to win the game at the play the ball if we're going to win the game. And it's up to us. They're aware of it, but then again, so are the six on the other side of the halfway line. And a tip for Tad in the change there. Shane Webke getting a rest as well. Another well-earned rest. And Andrew G comes into the action. Here is Badiris now. Away for Bailey, who's been left on by Coach Gould. Vela brought on to replace the rookie. Ricketson now. Johns at his 40 meter line. And Barrett, who played great part in the try for Menzies. Two tries Queensland, one New South Wales. If you believe in law of averages, then New South Wales will score next. Played back by Lockyer for Takiri and Lottie now a five times try scorer in this series just beyond his 30 meter line little dummy from PJ Marsh he's playing a more confident game tonight as you can imagine having got rid of I suppose some of the butterflies in his debut match Andrew G into the game short of halfway playing in 16 as Andrew as Langer puts in a kick I've got my doubts on Chris Walker in fact I'm sure Bill Harrigan called out to him you're offside and here's Hodgson. They tried to put him in the sandwich, and they almost succeeded. That would have been a test for any rib injuries or lung incapacities that Brett might have been harbouring. Oh, they're giving him some tonight, Brett Hodgson. He was a star, of course, in that first game here just over a month ago. And every time he gets tackled, they're really giving it to him. But he's still out there and, and playing well. Johns providing a, a pass inside for Bailey, hoping that Queensland... Well, there's a... Little problem there. It went, I think it went unnoticed as Barrett goes to the right for Gidley. Gidley, 25 metres out from the line. Blues haven't seen a lot of this territory. John's high. Taken wonderfully by Robbie O'Davis. The script said that uh, John's would pepper O'Davis, and Robbie's come through that one okay. And he also got some very good support there from. A couple of his teammates just getting in front, making it a little bit harder for the New South Wales chasers to get through and put the necessary pressure on. Andrew G, centre field, 13 out from his own line.
Kawar again. Menzies low, Timmons high. Didn't make the tackle, Timmons. That's why Marsh is running away along the 20 metre line to be tackled in the middle of the ground. On the Queensland end of the ground. Langer again puts on a sprint. Links up with Darren Smith, who can't get rid of the ball. Vela making the tackle. Carlo is the acting half. Goes back for the boot of Lockyer. Lockyer's kick is quite big. Back on the 10 metre line, Parramatta's fullback Brett Hodgson is on his way to the 20 metre line. They're sweating on Hodgson tonight. He almost, in many ways, got a free ticket here in one. And they're about to try and shut that down tonight. Tahu will play the ball. And I do think there is a little bit more aggression and go forward in the Queensland defence as Andrew Johns tries to bust them himself, takes it to the 40. The South Wales just lost a little bit of oomph in that area as Barrett. Throws Barrett is through. through! They've got support left and right. One to beat. They get the ball inside and racing away. Moody gets the second try for New South Wales to lead again. Oh, Barrett, he put that frame on the line. He had them left and right, and he gave the pass, and Moody gets the point. Well, I was just wrapping the Queensland defence, and wouldn't you believe it, just a one-on-one -on -one missed tackle. The heads go down because they were doing so well, and all of a sudden, Trent Barrett comes from the right side to the left. A little shimmy on the inside, and then it's between two players. He's got the choice on the inside or outside. The inside is the much better option. Jason Moody, very, very good work from the winger to be there. That's why wingers score tries. They follow the football. He yeah. gets between Carlo and Walker. Yeah, great work by the halves. Andrew Johns made a dashing 15-metre run. Then Barrett, look at him. He must be 15 stone, big 5'8 in the Wally Lewis mould as far as his size is concerned. He just burst through those two players like they weren't there. Disappointing defence and well well passed there and he drew in the fullback beautifully converted so the Blues surging to a 12-8 lead Andrew with this oh, Ray, is this the supreme contest or what for a decider this some of the action we've seen so far tonight young Jason Riles getting in the thick of it some of the veterans like Darren Smith Gordon Tallis mixing it it has just been fast and furious action. Everything you expect of State of Origin is exactly what has happened in the first 28 minutes. The coaches have won the series four times apiece, Bennett and Gould. They'd be riding every play. Brett Hodgson, the fullback, I was just talking about him earlier. The targets are out for him tonight. He made 380 metres in game one. He's only made 66 metres so far in game three with the clock showing 11 and a half minutes to go first half. Menzies, try scorer, plays the ball. Vela. Vela from a standing start but making yards. Well, he's a former winger. He's got great, great speed off the mark and excellent bringing the ball out from his own end. And that's what Phil Gould would be looking for. Last tackle now against the Blues. Johns, a little bit of time to kick, just the one step. And he puts it between Takiri and Lockyer over the, the try line. Lockyer knew that it was no use waiting for the ball to head to the dead ball lane. And snapped it up quickly and got back into the field of play. And they come away from that northeastern corner with Takiri. Hill is about to come into it. The Melbourne Storm 5'8", Scott Hill. McKenna barreled into the ground. It really is amazing how scoring points... And these kind of contests changes the momentum of the game as Queensland again to create something on their right hand side attack. When Queensland scored, they did lift noticeably. I thought they were on top. All of a sudden, New South Wales hit back. Now they've got the spring in the step. Price. 12 8 New South Wales. Fifth tackle. 37 metres for Queensland with the football on this set. And then this reliable boot sending it way, way down. And Brett Hodgson will bring it through to the 20 metre line. Well, see, I know with this kind of configuration at the stadium, it is difficult to pick up the win, but he certainly picked up a lot of ground on that occasion. Favouring either side at all? Oh, exactly. It's a gust. You, honestly, the kickers from both teams, the players like Andrew Johns and Darren Lockyer, would have to throw up a windsock to be able to judge exactly when to kick. It's just like that in this stadium. You get a gust of breeze maybe once every couple of minutes. Brian Fletcher is in the game in jumper number 15, and we all know his ability to offload the ball so Phil Gould bringing him off the bench for the back half of the first half when players are starting to tire 
And, oh, Jones. Tell us, hung an arm out, but there's been nothing said, nothing done, and I don't think there should have been, really. It was reflex action. Nobody got hurt. And Valor is underneath the three Queenslanders as he's driven back into his own half. The scarcity of penalties. I think there's only been two in the game so far. Well, Andrew Johns is particularly upset with the service there. He's kicked it straight into a Queensland defender who didn't play at the football. And the Blues did not want to give possession away that easily in such good field position. As they string together a couple of passes over halfway, that's Berrigan again being tackled. Three errors for the Blues. One for Queensland. It was Marsh. Passes for Lockyer. This is Norton. And Travis Norton will play the ball just inside the 40-metre line. Bulldog utility player. Langer turning it in for Tallis. Tallis shaped to pass the ball for Price and then took the tackle, then got the ball away. Darren Smith staying alive, getting it away. It's gone from Lockyer, back for Berrigan. Berrigan tackled. And not only tackled, he cannot respond. The tackler was Barrett. PJ Marsh was hammered. Barrett was the tackler. Needed to be a good tackle too. Queensland were leading up to something. This, they're going to get Marsh out of there. Berrigan beats Andrew Johns. All ends up. They're 10 metres out from the line. The Queenslanders looking for three. McKenna. Close to the line. Tackle number five. Lockyer. Spiralling the ball out for Webke. Webke's pass knocked down and backwards by Benares. New South Wales back with the ball just outside their own 10. Well, good pressure there by the Maroons. Big right foot step from Webke, but the pass went astray. BJ Mars getting some attention after that massive hit. How many fingers? What do you say, 21? Andrew G. Oh, it's a dislocated finger for Andrew G. Very painful things. They'll take him to the sideline and tell him to look somewhere else and then give it a big yank. Oh, and he'll be back in a moment. Put, put a strapping on. He's a front rower. Come on. So we're not going through the stapling. We're just going through the pulling. Just want him organising defence. I don't want him pointing players where to go. Someone could end up 30 metres back behind the line. So, we take you through the, the ecstasy and the agony on Nine's Big Wednesday of Sports. As Barrett goes on for Johns, he steps, he, he didn't beat Tallis, I was about to say he did. Plays it 30 metres out, Barrett's pass is a horror for Scott Hill. Well now, great opportunity for the Maroons, they're only, what, 30 metres out? Queensland now. 20 yards from the line. Played back by Talos. G. And now it is with Webke. And they thought about lifting, but he didn't get past the horizontal. He got too heavy. Now it's with Lockyer into the back line. Walker. So close to the sideline. That was very good recovery by him. Lockyer finding Langer. This is where Phil Gould is terrified of Langer, as coaches down through the years have been. Smith and Lockyer. Lockyer, two metres from the line. Tackle five for Darren Smith to have a look over to the right. Again for Langer. And again the kick, and Hodgson got the perfect bounce, but he was there to get it. Yeah, there's that anticipation that we've spoken about with Brett Hodgson. He just knew where he had to be for Alan Langer's kick. Beautiful piece of fullback play there from Hodgson. Menzies tries to bump away. He succeeds in getting rid of G. Webke got him. Now it's gone to Tahu. Dances away from McKenna's tackle and takes play 25 out from his own line. Badiris sweeping the pass for Fletcher. Fletcher with a big fend that put Shane Webke on his on his tail, and now it's Badiris starting to run further. Johns, now Hill, now Gidley, now Tahu, 
does the little the little hurdle over the fallen body of Gidley. Might have a forward pass here, I think. Oh no, no, he's got a, a high tackle. Gordon Tallis, a man being penalised. And again, the ebb and flow. New South Wales now with the consecutive sets of six inside their opponent's 30. With just over five to go in the first half. Badiris, and now Barrett. This is Menzies. And Langer with that familiar tackle of his. Using arms before he uses legs. Timmons away for John. Shows it to Hodgson on the inside. Gidley! Just throws a speculator, but it's travelled forward. Well, that's ridiculous play, really. They're leading 12-8. It's late in the first half. This just didn't have to be thrown. They've got to be patient with the football. It was a miracle play that he was going for. And Phil Gould will be shaking his head at that. Yeah, well, you, you can understand why he did throw the pass, because he could see Lottie Takiri racing in, and he realised that he had men on the outside, and Takiri's making the tackle on him. There had to be space. Five errors to two, New South Wales, on the debit side of that. Here is Takiri, got the first try of the night. Shrugs away a would-be tackle easily. Timmons it was, he beat. And now here's Webke taken on by the New South Wales 5'8", Barrett. Darren Smith for Stephen Price. Price, eventually they take him to ground. Padiris and Fletcher, or yes, it was uh, Simpson, in fact, who made the tackle. Now McKenna, and McKenna has his leg snapped from under him near the halfway line. To Kerry again. Five metres on the blue side of halfway, 12-8 the score. And this is the last tackle now for the Maroons. As Langer's kick is there for Hodgson or Moody, it is with the winger to take it back. Very important tonight that PJ Marsh is healthy for the Maroons, in my opinion. But he was outstanding while he was out there before getting hurt. And at the moment, Darren Smith, he's doing a capable job there, but he's not the threat out of that area against lazy or slow markers that PJ Marsh provides. Fletcher now. Dearest Waits just inside the 30 metre line. The Blues coming out of their danger zone. Hill for Gidley. Gidley. Is seven metres from the halfway line. They're over on the eastern side of Stadium Australia. And now it is back with Scott Hill, and he, he just peppers them for a moment before taking the tackle. That of Chris McKenna. And this stadium, as I look at it now, has filled even more since kickoff. It might be getting close to capacity. Oh, Davis. And the tackle wraps him up heavily. 25 metres out from their own line. Langer finding Lockyer and he'll play the ball inside the 30 meter line there's the breakdown of in opposition half Queensland enjoying 56 percent of the time and a crucial time for both teams now we're inside the final three minutes a little bit of fatigue there maybe players looking at the clock knowing they're going to get a break shortly must stay focused Darren Smith runs to the short side and Robbie O'Davis for the one of a better word is monstered by Jason Moody Played by O'Davis, Langer coming down the short side, puts in a, a low trajectory kick. Hodson is back there, knowing that Moody was involved just a few seconds earlier. He covered very much the left side of his defence. Let's get a report on PJ Marsh. Andrew? Yeah, Ray, the good news for Queensland, PJ Marsh will be right to return in the second half. He's been given the all-clear. He'll get the extra 10 minutes at halftime to recuperate, but he's uh, right to come back into this game. Tahuna, clock one and a half minutes from the siren. Simpson. Boderis and Johns. And now second man play for Brian Fletcher. He's got Langer trailing around the legs. Menzies for Johns. Johns to Boderis. Boderis to Hill. Can he get rid of the ball? No. He's in the clutches of one of the best centre defenders in the game. Chris McKenna. Johns puts it away for Menzies. Menzies on for Barrett. There's a problem here for Queensland. Timmons, he kicks over towards the middle of the ground. The bounce is important. Menzies couldn't take it. And Queensland have got the ball. Big chance there in the dying seconds of the first half for New South Wales. Takiri, 15 out from his own line. 
Robbie O'Davis to the 20 meter line. Taken down by Badiris and Timmins. Darren Smith for Andrew G. will take you back and show you that aborted attempt to get some more points on the board with the break coming up a matter of seconds away. Let's stay with Queensland as they're 30 meters out from their own line. Stephen Price tries to put himself through a gap, which closed. Now they, they stack the blind side. Look at the numbers, four of them on three. And Berrigan has tackled on halfway. Gidley the tackler. Tremendous first half of rugby league. And the origin decider, 12-8, the Blues. This was the try that nearly came for them. In the shadows of the halftime siren, Timmins has kicked. Does Menzies get a hand on it? The bounce was there for him. And they can thank their lucky stars that Berrigan got involved. Because he dismantled what Stephen Menzies had aspirations for. It is 12-8 at the break. This is Origin 3, the decider from Stadium Australia. And we'll be back with the boys live at halftime in just a moment. Welcome back to Stadium Australia. It's the second half of State of Origin 3. It's about to unfold before us on this big Wednesday of sport on the Nine Network. 12-8 is the score. Two tries apiece. To Kiri and Berrigan getting the Queensland tries. As the Queenslanders come out to resume and so too the New South Wales side. Tremendous first half of football. I'm sure you'd agree it was a very close contest. Oh, it was their turn and then our turn, if you like. Tahu pumping himself up as we follow him down that raceway. Who's going to be the first to fly the white flag? Roar from the crowd as the Blues come back in front with 40 to go. That's wonderful vision, isn't it? Watching the players go out the race and have a look at the halftime statistics. 12-8 score line, not much in the line breaks, one in favour of New South Wales. Kicks in play, plenty of those, but they have gone to the men at the back on the full on a number of occasions. Not much between the table tackles. Missed tackles, surprisingly quite a few, but they have been covered up very well in New South Wales. Six errors, Queensland, that's fantastic, just the two. Bill Harrigan keeping the penalties down to a, as I said, minimum. He's been three in the match. Two for the Blues, one for Queensland. That's the way Harrigan is, though. He tries to keep it going. He'll blow it if he sees a penalty, but he's kept them to a minimum as we go into the second half. Last half of Origin football for this year, anyway. 21st Origin series coming to its end. In 40 from now, who's it going to be? Will New South Wales win? Will they level the series tally at 10 10 with one drawn? Here's Price now. Tackle just beyond his own. 20 meter line. Phil Gould has still not used Nathan Hindmarsh. That is one ace that he has up his sleeve to keep a forward absolutely fresh for the second half. I'm just running the glasses along. I can't see Hindmarsh in the in the lineup. Here's Lockyer trying to open them up early. Webke got away from Barrett. That's a good trick. The ball might have gone forward, bounced forward anyway. A catch and a kick and another kick. That time from Norton. Now this emergency. New South Wales are with the ball. That's a beautiful piece of work. It will be a line dropout, but it could have been a lot worse for the Blues. Oh, absolutely. It was freaky circumstances. They put pressure on Lockyer. He ran and found Webke on the last tackle. He didn't kick it. That pass there looked a bit marginal, but Chris Walker put it on the toe. And then Travis Norton, where was he? Where did he come from? Was he offside? But they're back there, Barrett, and saved the dicey situation. Barrett was the man who missed Shane Webb. He's followed the play all the way as they go for the shorter drop out. Tallis picks it up on the 40 and charges into them to pick up 10. Oh, and he has knocked out Scott Hill. Scott Hill, he's up. Well, maybe not knocked out, but he didn't look that good. Well, you could be forgiven to thinking he was. Now they go to the right. Here's Norton. 
10 metres out from the line. Ripke. Badiris working hard with Timmons on that left side. Lockyer for Langer. Langer for Tallis and they hit him. Gets the ball away magnificently for Berrigan. Berrigan won't go down. On the bounce for Walker. Wider for Price. Price straightens. Fifth tackle now. Will the Blues hold them out? Or will Darren Smith provide an opening for Alan Langer? That will be turnover. Alfie, they're having a little sneak go. Darren Smith scores all the tries from dummy half. On that occasion, he just picked the ball up and gave it to Alf. <laughs> He's just a G up. Good on you, Alf. <laughs> A couple of enormous plays from Trent Barrett in that passage. He came up with the smothering tackle on Alan Langer close to the line, but his clean-up play after that mad scramble on the last tackle was just quite outstanding as Brian Fletcher shapes the pass, does so. Andrew Johns now throws the dummy, takes it to the 20. Norton eventually getting a hand on him. Baderis stamping himself. Quite firmly as the number one, number nine in the game today, certainly in Australia. English fans would have an objection to that. And Cunningham rating very, very high. Here is Velena on the 40 metre line. Play back for Badiris. Webke looked as though he innocently got in the road. There would be some doubters. Badiris, he kicked straight to Takiri. 15 into his own half and is able to beat Scott Hill. Now Robbie O'Davis finding himself in the centre of the park and beating one. Believe it or not, it was Andrew Johns. Darren Smith, who was knocked cold early in the game. This is Stephen Price from the Canterbury Club. Langer looking for Tallis, he finds him on the inside. Tallis! 30 metres out, that was a wonderful tackle there by... Badiris. Uh, Badiris again, Peter. Thank you. Smith finding Lockyer in the middle. He gets a oh, wonderful pass away. Langer runs to the right. He picks up Andrew G. Decoys are going everywhere. Queenslander mounting a big surge. Now it's been lost by them, but cleaned up by them. Oh, Harrigan has found the ball travelled forward in an earlier incident. Oh, there's that man again. Trent Barrett coming over and just hammers Robbie O'Davis. Looked like he actually knocked it forward. Sucking him in. He's doing plenty of work. Pat's on the back from all the players. Menzies, Moody. Have either of you seen Barrett using his, his body size, his body weight, as much as tonight? There's no doubt that his defence has improved over the last couple of seasons. He is now a quality defender and one that, as you say, will put it, the body on the line as made has become a little bit restless. Just some pushing and shoving. Darren Smith and Danny Badiris seem to be the main contenders. OK, that was good. Now let's pack a scrum and get on with it. Here we go. <laughs> did you hear that? I hope you did. Bill Harrigan. That was good, fellas. Now would you pack a scrum and let's get on with it. Well, there you can see Brian Fletcher took exception to Andrew G pulling down on his jersey and they started the push and shove. We've got Alan Langer at lock. We've got Chris Walker at halfback. This is an unusual setting. Nice and easy, arms over the top. In here, get in and get out of there. Get in. Timmons. At first, well, look at McKenna, would you? One very good defence centre on another. They mightn't take too kindly to that. They might fancy themselves in an attacking role, but I think their chief weapons are involved in defence, and McKenna's done a, a good job of cleaning up a few situations here tonight. Ball and all stuff. Hill takes them on hard, and Price meets him just as hard. With assistance from Andrew G. Fletcher, 40 metre line for Fletcher, and he gets it away for Badiris to give it on for his Newcastle teammate Andrew Johns. They smother him, and Nathan Hindmarsh is about to get his first taste of the evening. Here's Hill to the halfway, almost taking Harrigan with it. He's kicked to the open side, and they are outnumbered there. Robbo Davis, well and truly handled by Barrett. But in the first six and a half minutes of this second half, the kicking game for New South Wales really has been atrocious. 
He just cannot kick the football like that, not pick up ground. And they are inviting Queensland to attack every time they do kick the football, giving it away quality position. Webke will play the ball. Held a moment, for the moment, he's held by Riles, who's back on there with Heinmarsh. Cut out ball, it came off Berrigan, went backwards. Harrigan indicates immediately it's gone backwards, no knock on. McKenna then, to the right for Langer. Got a high pass and just slowing up a little bit. Now he puts that right foot reliable boot to it. And Moody coming away from 15 out from his own line. And even that is a very unusual kick from Alan Lang. It was fourth tackle earlier in the count. Didn't put any great pressure on his Timmins. Some nice movies. Strong run by Timmins. We haven't been to Andrew for the halftime report. We'll do that at the end of this. Riles. Debut tonight with a solid first 20 minutes. Quite outstanding, really. Fletcher trampling or trying to over the top of Darren Smith. That's not easily done. Badiris Barrett, quick hands, Hobson. And Webke waits for him at the other side of the tunnel. Now John steps, beats Price, puts a little kick over. When I say little, he looked to only stab it. O'Davis back in the corner, and he's put away 10 out from his own line. Andrew Voss. Yeah, very interesting to see how Phil Gould is using his interchange, uh, Ray, in the first half. He made only three changes, yet in the first ten minutes of the second half, he's about to make his third change of the half. Now, one problem he has got, Mick Vella was physically ill at half-time, was down on his haunches a few times late in that first half. He's been replaced early by Jason Riles. Nathan Hindmarsh now out there, Luke Bailey about to come into the match. Phil Gould will be livid with a kicking game, as Peter Sterling suggested, because that was his chief instruction at half-time. We need better field position, we need a better kicking game. From Wayne Bennett, the chief instruction, just a little bit more patience in attack when we're down inside New South Wales half. Here's Talis with a don't argue run. Menzies is the tackler. To the right for Langer. And Langer puts it down. He wasn't inside the 40. He was more on the halfway line. Hodgson on the kick return almost to the 20. Menzies crossing that line. Tackled in the opposition 20 reveals an incredible stat. Phil Gould's forwards, Badira, Simpson, Siva coming back on. Menzies and Rickardson all played without a break in the first half. And only two of the Queenslanders did that, Tallis and Smith. Now Johns hammers it down behind Lockyer. And that was from inside the 40. Darren Lockyer realised he had to get across quickly to the bouncing ball. The chase is good. Much better from the Blues. Runs a little bit slowly. Back into the attacking line as Takiri. Takes on the responsibility. Does well. Robbo Davis probably will take a run. 30 metre line before meeting Bailey. Lockyer. Same player making the tackle together with Barrett. Now Berrigan! Tallis having a look around. He's looking for his playmaker. He finds him now. And Langer's kick zeroes into Hodgson. He beats McKenna. And oh, he's swamped from behind by Takiri. That was dangerous there for Queensland. Gidley. Running across the park, looking to link up with the flat runner, the runner up the middle, Moody. Langer upset the apple cart. Here's Riles, shoving it back for Timmins, another with St. George Illawarra players. Darren Smith. Bailey. The crowd really getting their money's worth, and by Jove, they've gone close to getting a, a full house here. John's working with Hill. Hill around the corner ball, Badiris. Badiris gets it away for Bailey. There's a chance out wide if he can get it away, but he's tackled. 40 metres out, tackled five. New South Wales now with Johns putting this kick down basically straight to Lockyer, who got a nice bounce. And Lockyer using O'Davis this time. New South Wales starting a chance around, throwing a lot more passes in the last couple of minutes. Uh, inside balls and around the corner passes. I think if Queensland they need points and Chris Walker's got to get more involved. He needs to be sniffing around the forwards and maybe inside ball from Alan Langer. He's got the speed. G. Good tackle coming in from the side from it was Jason Riles again. 
And here's Cowell with enthusiasm to the halfway line. Either change. They've both used six. As it comes across for Gordon Tallis, and Tallis is starting to increase his frequency into the game. 40 meter line. As we well, see a turnover. Gee, that's that's very unusual. Gordon doesn't realise it's the last tackle. And you can see he's particularly upset. This is Tamana Tahu fending away, fending away again. And then they bombard him with defence. Carlo was lucky to get away with that. He came up with the boot. This is Riles. And some of these numbers are really probably not so bad through the binoculars or through the lenses, but for the spectators, they really rely on the numbers, and some of them are in a disgraceful state. Here is Heinmarsch. Almost at the 30-metre line. The Blues by four, 12-8 in Origin 3, the Harvey Norman series. Here is Barrett, and Barrett's able to get away. Timmons goes ahead. Timmons loses the ball. Queenslander with it. No, he's got it, I think. No, Queenslander with the ball. Well, he certainly knocked on because he was shaping the kick, and Alan Langer got him in a bootlace tackle as Chris McKenna straightens up. Tackle 20 out. Watch for Takiri. As the ball goes back and it's on the second bounce that it comes down to Norton. I fancy they might have gone for a short side play. And I still think the Queensland are missing PJ Marsh. They've been forced to put Sean Berrigan into that dummy half roll now. Marsh, I think, is the man to come back and spark because so much of the focus has gone away from that area. They're not really that concerned by the dummy half at the moment. With Marsh there, it's a different story. Well, he's, I see, warming up on the sideline, PJ. Here's loose ball to Kiri. Met by Hill and pulled down by Johns. And there is Marsh stretching, staying there. Brent Tate waiting to make his debut. Lock his kick. Favourable field position for the Blues. Moody's with the ball. 40 metre line. Queensland into the ground. Timmons challenges uh, the, the opposition. Then Menzies now Johns. Johns away for Gidley. Gidley beats to Keary. Goes inside the 30 metre line. He'll play the ball. 10 in from touch, western side. Tahu for a flying Jason Riles, then getting it away, showing again the skill of what will take him through. I'm fairly certain to rugby league greatness. He's a really great prospect. Now for the left for Johns, and Johns on to Barrett. Barrett runs at Langer. Great crowd, look at it. And they're really wrapping it up. Here is a chance! Oh! <laughs> Darren Lockyer had three of them on him. He had to make a clean catch, and he did. Oh, that's as good as it gets from a fullback. He had to grab that. Otherwise, it was a New South Wales try, no doubt about it. It's a one-hander. It's almost like Spider-Man. It's got the web happening. Oh, go, go, gadget. Oh, Davis. There's Brent Tate, one of his, well, maybe his proudest moment in rugby league. We might know that for a few years to come. Webke will play it now. And they're back out to their 40 with Langer to kick. And still two tries apiece. And the people that have been associated with Origin in recent times have been worried about the blowout scores. I don't think that's going to be a problem tonight. 12-8, two tries apiece. And as close as it gets. Missed tackle, lucky bounce. Just something. You see this series, which is in another decider. Heading north or staying, or should I say, heading back home again north. Or maybe being retrieved by these fellows. The Blues, here's Johns. The ball is away. It is Barrett again. It is Menzies again. Menzies is still going. Menzies is tackled nine metres from the line. Fifth tackle now. It is with Johns. John's away. It's gone from Hill. He's in Tahu. Oh, has he dropped it? Tamana Tahu. He's dropped that. They're going for the screen. It's very hard to tell. Bill Harrigan, he's unsure. Otherwise, he would point to the spot, obviously. I don't think Tamana is that confident. I think he realises that he's put this one down. Well, no. It's a try. No dramas at all. The same corner that he scored in the grand final against Parramatta. Very, no, good, very good, very good. Very good face reading by Nostradamus. Oh, let's have a look at it again. Oh, he oh, oh, it. Turn it up, Snorky. <laughs>
If that's a try, I'll walk naked to Burke. Oh, I hope it's not a try then. Well, the side view is obviously the one that is going to be the yay or nay. Beautiful it was a great ball. Pass. Oh, oh geez. it was a lunge. Photographers ducking for cover. Cameras going everywhere. Look, that's from that's that point of view, it does look as though it's a try. This is the view that will give us the decision. Does he lose the football? Yes. I've got no Pete. Well, look, I'm, I'm, I'm only going that maybe there are fingers on it when he's when he's putting the ball down. I'm not 100% certain. If it was no try, I couldn't argue. Well, Paul Harrigan interviewed Chris Ward before the match, and he said he's a bit nervous. I bet he's a lot more nervous now. And that was set up, of course, by a great play previous to that. We saw Andrew Johns bust the line. Steve Menzies ended up taking the tackle. He had Brett Hodgson flying to the left, but just couldn't get the football there. And then on the last, they knew a chance was on on the right. No try, he's dropped the footy. No try. What a big call for video referee Chris Ward. And I, well, I believe it's the right one, whether you're a Queenslander or a New South Welshman. I do believe that was no try. That was the play Snorky was talking about. And it's a bomb try, because if he goes in and tries to put it down with two hands, there's no problem. Tell us. Marsh is back. Carlo. Tate. And the youngsters presenting troubles, but he's lost the ball. It has always provided great theatre. And tonight is no exception. Origin 3, Tate. Only in his first few minutes of this match, but almost through and they're making a mistake. Well, he was disappointed that the referee didn't rule a penalty his way, that the ball was raked out. Johns working this one, just inside his own 40-metre line. Here is Timmons. He really gives them the addition of another forward. And Johns makes a knock on of it. Marshes with it for Queensland, who still only trail by four. Perilously close to an extra four points denied for the Blues. Marsh, Langer, this is Lockyer. He goes out rather than back on the inside. And Tate again. He looks ominous. Twice he's handled, twice he's looked good. Back from Norton for Carlo. And Carlo surges over the 20 metre line. Blues responding to the attack. And now Langer. Here's Webke charging at them. Webke will get there. Shane Webke with one of the more determined rugby league origin tries. Well, he's still setting the standard for front row forwards, isn't he? Great stuff as we freeze it there. There's the big man coming. Look, there's plenty of defenders there to make the tackle. Hodgson will come across and make a valiant effort at the end, and as play continues, it's just raw power. He just powers his way through the tackles, comes to Hodgson, over the top, reaches out. He is a great front row forward, uh, and the bench know it. It's one of the great origin tries from 12 metres out. Look at him bursting through, and Hodgson was no chance. Like a semi-trailer over a kangaroo. Out on the highways, million to one. Great work, Webke. Thank you, Skippy. There you go. And 12 all now, Lottie Takiri. This is his simplest conversion attempt. And of course, only moments ago, we were wondering whether Tamana Tahu had raced his side away. But Shane Webke, one of the nicest blokes you'd meet off the field, and one of the toughest on. Maybe that, that bomb try was a turning point. You saw Wells' heads went down. To Kerry. Needs 10 points out of the game, as I said, to break the Queensland point scoring record in a series. He's got four. This will be their first goal. This time he's got it. Lottie has converted. We will take a break in Origin 3. 14 12, Maroons in front now. these networks I guess you're enjoying it as much as we are it is 
A fantastic atmosphere. This is rugby league at its highest level. Fourteen twelve as Queensland. Oh, the try scorer has lost the ball. Shane Webkey giving over possession. Thirty meters out from the line. Simpson. He hasn't been prominent in the attack, Stephen. His defence has been good. Bailey. Twenty meters out. Johns away to the right, just waiting his turn. Oh, Heinmarsh has given it back to them. Pack a scrum with Queensland, loose head and feet. Michael Vella back on the bench has recovered from that. Well, he looks as though he has the physical sickness that he was suffering at half time. 14 12, 61 minutes gone. As the Maroons use Tate to hit the 20 meter line, the edge of the red zone, Marsh and Sivan Siva combining. And Queensland have Gordon Tallis and Chris Walker on the bench now. I'm just wondering whether they might be brought back as strike players for that final 10 minutes. Points are needed. And they take doing a good job out there as, War as Webke. Sideline comment, Andrew. Yeah, Peter Serling talking about interchange. We've got another drop ball here, and Bill Harrigan is going to real knock on again. Shane Webke, second time in his own half inside the last two minutes. Queensland with only three interchanges left up their sleeve. Gordon Tallis will definitely be one of those to come back onto the field, but only three going into the last quarter of an Origin match. It's a test for Wayne Bennett and his Queensland troops. Gordon Tallis, you can rest him on the bench, but I, I doubt that mentally. And even looking at him physically, you can't rest him. He's just such a passionate player. As Gidley has picked up and put away by Berrigan. He had to almost gentle him down a bit there, Berrigan. Here is Simpson. Simon Receiver hit him with everything he had. They're 30 metres out from the line. They're trailing by two. Johns using Bailey again. He hasn't let anybody down. He's continued a very good series. The St George Illawarra front rower. Johns back on the end. Oh, Hudson has put it down. Some mistakes starting to riddle this passage of the origin decider. You've seen Webke put it down twice. We've had Heinrich put it down. I don't know whether the pass from Johns was catchable for Hudson, but that's four that I can recall, certainly inside the last four minutes. 17 to go. Langer away for Takiri. Langer scooping it up and giving it quickly to Norton. And Norton losing some ground there. As he's hit very heavily by Hill and Tahu. McKenna on his own 30, playing it back for Marsh. Seven receiver. Only three teams have come from losing State of Origin 1 to win the series. Queensland are a breath away from being the fourth team to do it. And three of those teams have been Queensland teams already. It has been an imposing statistic. Hard to shake. Are they going to do it tonight? Hodgson. Hodgson. Getting it 15 metres out from the line. Moody is outside the 20 metre line. As Fatigue starts to make meters more, more available. And Highmarsh is with the ball. He tucked it under his wing and said, I'm not losing it this time. 30 meters out from their own line. And here's Bailey putting his hand up out of turn so many times. Marsh is hobbling. I think he's cramping. As Johns fires it away down to Takiri's wing on the western side of the ground. He's outside the 20. In fact, that's a very good tackle by Scott Hill. Now Lockyer. Tackle by Menzies. And now a quick play of the ball. Sees Takiri with a little bit of room to work in. Starts to run along the 40-meter line before being tackled by Heinmarsh. Now Tate. With very little football in those legs tonight. 
And he really zips across the ground, doesn't he? Webke will have nothing on his mind but holding onto the ball there. Marsh to the short side for Norton to keep New South Wales on the back foot. Now he played at the ball. Did he touch the ball? Bill Harrigan said no and calls it back for a 20 metre restart. And they're getting Webke out of the game at the moment and putting Price back into it. Great try, wasn't it, by Webke? And with Steve Price on the field for possibly the last 15 minutes. New South Wales will need to watch when they kick. He will be the player coming through, putting pressure on. He will dive, he'll look for a charge down. He'll put enormous emphasis on the kicker. Lost ball. Bailey it was who coughed it up. McKenna, tackle 40 metres out. Tackle number one is coming up. Lockyer. Bailey dropped the ball, that's him making the tackle. 2.66 required of New South Wales, 2.10 for Queensland. Berrigan. That's a good bit of work more, isn't it, for the Blues? Price. And Scott Hill brings him down just outside the 20-metre line. Tackle three is down to the right for Langer. Now he's got the game where he wants it. Lockout. Chancing a pass. Norton was there. Tate is there. Fends away from Barrett. Taken by Timmons. 12 from the line for Lockyer and for Alfie in his last Origin match. That would seem for certain. Wouldn't it be a glorious way for him to go out? Lockyer. And it came off the Blues. Hill wins the race for the ball. Did he knock on? Oh, I think he did. Well, he got a call from the touch side to say it was OK. They go wide now. Here it is on replay. It's knocked on, all right. I'm sure he didn't get it in before it touched the ground. Johns this time, crossing the 30. Here's Menzies up the middle. This Queensland defence very much on guard. Darren Smith made that tackle. It was a tackle that really had to be made. Here's Simpson now. Fifth tackle, near the halfway. Johns will want it. No, through the hands. Hill. And he puts the kick in. And it's out on the full. Well, mistake after mistake for the Blues. In the last 12 minutes of this match, this is purely and simply about courage, not about tactics. It's just about courage and intestinal fortitude. Players running on empty. What have they got left? What reserves of strength can they draw on out there over this last 10, 11 minutes? Tallis coming back into the game. Seven receiver up the middle, 28 metres out from the Blues line. PJ Marsh for Lockyer. They switch the point. Bad pass to give Alfie Langer. And it made him an easy prey out there for Danny Badiris. Now Lockyer's on a run around with Berrigan, but Berrigan tries to beat them himself. And they're close. They're very close. 18 from the line. More points here, and it will nearly become impossible. Oh! Oh! Did he get it down? He scored. Darren, Darren Lockyer. Lockyer. Darren Lockyer may have got this ball down inside the dead ball line. I think Darren Lockyer has taken the ball out of the arms, the hands of Brett Hodgson, and planted it down. We're a long way away from here, but this, I think, may well be the match winner. Does he get it down? He scores. Darren Lockyer has scored well it certainly appears to be a try remembering Tamana Tahu's disallowed try and now there's a little bit of conjecture when you see it from the other side well I'll, I'll, I'm going try with this one not because he's a Queenslander but I think he's got down with pressure as opposed to yeah, Tahu I think he has as well another shot from another angle we come back to the mistakes made by the Blues in the last 10 minutes. They trailed by two points, as they did in game two, making too many mistakes. We see the Queenslanders are actually coming forward as we have a look at the replay. Maybe that's just the rule these days. I think he's got downward pressure. Yeah, I mean, the ball can hit the ground at any, any pace it, it likes, as long as he's got hands on it with downward pressure. And I don't think his hand ever left that football.
once again, Chris Ward looking at replay after replay. And I think, you know, this is really the origin series right here. I would favour Lockie Takiri to convert this. That would put the mate clear, New South Wales. Well, they're just not playing well enough to make up that deficit. The longer this goes, I'm starting to wonder whether we're not swinging back towards a red light. Lockyer, having put it down, is quickly embraced. Oh, what a footballer this bloke is. He and, he and Andrew Johns. Just... Wasn't, wasn't it freaky what he did there? Well, it was like the other end of the field when he was diffusing the grubber kick through, the, the left-handed, one-handed take. Here, Here it comes, go. it's no try! 20-metre restart. Tallis can't believe it. A look of disbelief collectively representing the thoughts of Queensland and their thousands of supporters north of the border. Hill. But all they've got to do for the last 10 minutes is defend. They haven't got to worry about scoring more points at this stage. Just get your defence right, make the tackles, keep your line, keep moving up. Timmons probing. And now we do go back to the game two scenario as we look at the interchange situation. Ten to go, two points the difference. Queensland scored the converter try at the end of that one to win the game by eight. Both sides now, every opportunity to take this Origin Series. New South Wales through Barrett over halfway. They need to take a few chances in this final 10. Fifth tackle has gone for them. Johns. He'll have to pull out something from his book of magic to lift this one. Takiri. Well, one thing that both teams must realise is that there is still plenty of time. Ten minutes is a long game, a long time in this game of rugby league. So they must show patience. Oh, Davis almost offering himself to the defence. Tate. Daly, assistant to Phil Gould, Laurie. On edge, and we have a problem. Maybe PJ Marsh again, is it? He'll stay down. Quite awkwardly, as you can see, his arms were pinned. The head makes very solid contact. Well, he's hit at the ground first. Back just a few seconds ago. <laughs> and the reaction from the Queensland bench when they thought they had the match winning try. And then when the decision came, the other side of the coin. Andrew Sideline, PJ, not well, obviously. No, he's not well at the moment, Ray. I wasn't here the night Kathy Freeman won the 400 at the Sydney Olympics, but I can't imagine the roar was any greater than what greeted that video refereeing decision. Incredible, isn't it, that we've got Chris Ward, the video referee tonight, Bill Harrigan, the referee. Of course, they were the famous duo from the 1999 grand final, the penalty try, Melbourne against St George Illawarra, that decided the premiership winner that year. Could have been the same for the 2002 Origin Series. Ten minutes to go in the decider and Marsh taken off. While he's been on, it's been a more fluent Queensland side, so with his absence imminent, New South Wales will have 10 minutes to try and make up the deficit. Just his second origin game. And this is the last tackle as well, so it's important that Queensland haven't lost their concentration here, get a good kick away. New South Wales should have realised that they need to get through and put pressure on. Live coverage of the origin from Stadium Australia. Down through Victoria as well tonight. And then the semi-final of the soccer coming up. That is a big chase. Nearly the play of the night. Rickardson. Barrett. Hudson. Hudson. 30 metres out from the line. And they, again, throw him around like a rag doll. Fletcher. Fletcher. 
backing towards the sideline, uh, towards the, uh, the try line, which is 20 metres away as that pass is thrown to Hill. Hill for Menzies, kick before it hit the ground. Did it go forward? Doesn't matter. Even though now it will come back for the ball travelling forward. Well, they just continue to make mistake after mistake with the football. They hardly control it this half. There's a ball to Steve Menzies. He had support on the outside. And it goes to Deck. 14-7, the errors mounting. Minute by minute. Badly mounting for New South Wales. And no more interchanges available for Queensland. Three left for the Blues. Lockyer limping noticeably. Tate is held on his own 20-metre line. The soccer will follow live. Brazil and Turkey. And that'll be followed then live by Wimbledon. And Philippus is on show tonight over there. Flying the Australian flag. Price. Big Wednesday on the Nine Network. And I trust you're enjoying it. This sporting theatre will continue for a long time tonight. Crowd of just over 74,000 here. They fell short of maximum by about 5,000. Hobson's on his way back. And, oh, gee, that was touch and go there. Moody did well to clean up. He's been impressive since he came on. Tate, Brent Tate on Dubu. I mentioned earlier, every time he touches the ball, there's a warning siren sounds because the New South Wales players are having trouble handling such a fresh player with a lot of skill and plenty of pace in those legs. Now Barrett, bullet-like pass, finding Fletcher. Fletcher away from Menzies and Takiri came off his wing and hit him, put him away 30 metres out from the Blues line. I do think there's got to be more of that from New South Wales at the moment. They're just not asking it off. Oh, good Barrett! Barrett's into space! He's got a couple to beat! He kicks ahead! And after it now, and raking the ball in, is Berrigan for Queensland. I suppose we can ask the question, was the kick the way to go? But that's easy in hindsight. No, it wasn't the way to go, Ray. The only way it would have been the right decision was if they'd have scored the try. Had to take the, the tackle or find the man in support. Don't give away possession on the fourth. It was Johns who provided the opportunity for Barrett. He's had a tremendous game, Barrett. Here is G. Do see the chance starting to go up? Oh, my word, it has. It's been going most of this second half, but the Blues really need it right now. The Queenslanders had it in game two up at ANZ. The supporters need the lift as they do now for Hodgson. Hodgson's outside his 40-metre line. And uh, put down by Tallis. Just short of halfway. Price in a two-man tackle there. Here is Johns. This is Tahu. Tackled 40 metres out from the Queenslanders' line. Played back for Gidley, and Gidley runs from dummy half. A jolting tackle. Tallis coming over the top of McKenna. Here is Riles. Now Johns. Now Hill. Then it's gone through. Barrett. Barrett tries to isolate. It's gone to Timmons. Timmons to Moody. Moody's over. Jason Moody, second try of the night. And the Blues are back in front. Well, that what is... chain reaction, what fluent passing, the reaction from the bench. Moody has gone in, and the Blues lead by two. Well, that is a great try. I know it's stating the obvious, but just so well executed. Just watch the hands here. Under pressure, Riles gets a good ball away. The little side shuffle from Johns. Quick hands. Sums it up nicely, Trent Barrett. A fantastic ball around the corner. Timmons realised that Lockyer had him in his sights. The inside ball to Moody. And he just put the head down and drove. Well, Queensland tied, outnumbered out there on their flanks. It was just a matter of draw and pass. Everyone threw the perfect pass in in the Blues team. And well finished off by Moody. Well started by Jason Riles. Look at the crowd go up. Look at the Blues go up. A couple of the Queensland heads down. They've done themselves proud tonight still. Four and a half minutes remaining, still time. Oh, yeah, this game is not over. Don't worry about that. There might be plenty of backslapping going on, but don't get carried away. Still four minutes to go. The ball will come down the other end of the field from the restart. 
And so important, New South Wales come up with a good set of six. There's the assignment confronting Andrew Johns. 58 career points, he would love to make it 60. From the sideline, 21 metres out. Hits it, looking for a four-point margin. He has got it. Johns has kicked the goal. It is New South Wales 18-14 now as we break. What a finish. What a night. What a series. Which has returned record crowds. And the kickoff. The kickoff has gone the required margin for mine. So, some high drama here. The kickoff was shallow from Queensland. It was from Darren Lockyer. And it bounces a couple of times inside. The 40-metre line then crosses the line outside the 40. So the scrum feed and loose head to Queensland. Tate, tackled by Moody. And, of course, with John's conversion, it now takes the penalty out of the, con out of the equation. It must be a, at least a try for, for the Queensland side. Don't forget, if they score a try and fail to convert, they retain the series. Seven receiver driving. 32 metres out. Two and a half minutes to go. Tallis, a short ball for Berrigan. Taken by Hill at Menzies. Significant game by Menzies. Barrett has been wonderful. And there the Queenslanders became entangled in their own mesh. Last tackle. Played by Carlaw, the last for Langer. They use the hands. Not hard to predict. It is with Berrigan. He beats one. He loses the ball. And it is with Tamana Tahu. Playing the ball, 15 away from his own line. Two and a quarter minutes to go in the series. Gidley. They're trying to cover possession, but they can't withdraw totally. Using up all these tackles, they're only on their own 20-metre line. Here is Fletcher. And again on the last tackle, if it goes to Andrew Johns, watch for Stephen Price coming through for the charge down. 30 metre line, tackle five, and here is the kick for Johns. And they go through trying to shut it down with Stephen Price. Now they're on their way back. And it's Lockyer who leaves the 30 metre line, his own end, swerving away from Timmins, going out to Tate. And Moody is over there in combination with Timmins, shutting down the left side. Now on the 40 metre line, still Queensland's end, it is with Sivan Siva couple of tackles down, one and a quarter minutes to go. It is the Blues by four points. Berrigan puts that little frame right on the line. Darren Smith, 35 out from the line. Langer's pass. It's with Carlaw. He beats one. Carlaw's away. Carlaw will score. Carlaw has leveled. It is 18 all now. Here they come, the mighty Maroons. They never say die. Under a minute on the clock. Under a minute on the clock, and they've done it. Gordon's giving it to the supporters. Yeah, no need for that. Their performance speaks volumes as they go wide. Get the ball, we freeze it there. There you can see he's got two players on the outside, and he will get outside the New South Wales defender. Brett Hodgson comes across, and as play continues, a draw is good enough for Queensland to retain the title. He gets rid of the attempted tackle. Hodgson, he goes in low, pushed off. To be quite honest, the conversion is academic. Yeah, one missed tackle. That's what this game's all about. You miss a tackle, and a game like this, out of reach. Dane Carlaw, big, long striding, scored a try in the second game. There Here's is the hoot up. The series. The trophy stays with Queensland. And Gordon Tallis appeals to the crowd for the due applause for the Queenslanders. In many ways, you would hope this kick would go over well, look, I... because the match will be flooded 
in the discussion that has followed a series result such as this before. Yeah, it'll be a drawn series. Uh, unless he kicks this just for Queensland's sake, you'd like to see him get it to make it 2-1. I think for the game's sake, yeah. Paul. I think a much more satisfactory ending 20 to 18 to Queensland, and they take the series 2-1. So a drawn series. The trophy stays with Queensland. To Kiri from 20. Wide. The game ends at 18 all. Three tries to the Blues, four tries to Queensland, and an 18-all finish. He hits it, he's yeah! got it!